Hello, hi guys. Today we can see one more important SQL problem. Find the fourth lowest salary. Usually we can see finding the top highest salaries. Okay, means highest salary of from the third highest, fourth highest, fifth highest. But this is a bit different. This is finding the fourth lowest salary. So we can apply the same formula what we can use it for the highest salary, but we need to use carefully. Okay, so first we can see the input table. So this is the input table that we have. First one is employee ID, next one first name, last name, email, phone number, hire date, job ID, and the salary. You can see the salary column. So what they asked, fourth, uh, fourth lowest salary. Okay, first we need to arrange the salary in the ascending order. If you can see, first salary is the lowest salary is 2500 the next one 2600 2700 and 2800 so we need to find the record 2800 okay so now i'm going to explain you three different ways in this video so we can follow these three different ways to achieve either lowest salary or highest salary at nth highest salaries okay so first we can see the first method okay the first method we can use using using simply limit and offset method okay first method we can use using the limit and offset. Right? so let me explain what is the limit and the offset <coughs> okay so we need to use both together limit and offset in order to work in the sql okay offset keyword will be used to to skip number of records from your result set offset can be used to skip the number of records okay so first if i can specify something like we can write the query something like this right select star from employee employees okay order by salary ascending order now we need to specify offset three okay offset 3 limit 1 so what it does first this is our input table right so within our input table this is our input table so within the input table first it will execute the offset 3 so first it will arrange the order by salary ascending order okay so first it will apply the uh, salary in ascending order then it will skip the three records so we specify the offset 3 right so in the result we need to skip this first three records okay next we need to limit one so that means we just need to take only one record so once you can skip the three records right what is the record so this is the record that we have and we are limiting it into only one so using this technique we can able to get the fourth lowest salary so this is the one method so let me execute this method and let me show you in the real time we can uh, i'm using the azure sql server so azure sql database so in the azure sql database we do not have this limit so instead that we can use uh, the alternative is this one so what i am doing this is the first my result right so this is my first table so in the table first i am doing order by salary ascending order so let me execute this see you got the data in the ascending order and we just need the fourth record that is nothing but 2800 is seagull tobis okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to offset three that means it is going to ignore the first three records and three rows okay fetch next one row only okay that means first you need to ignore the three rows next you need to get the remaining only one row so let me execute this see this is how you can able to get the data so this given the fourth data is only 2800 that is a fourth lowest salary so that is a one way next we can see another way is using correlated sub queries okay so we have one concept nothing but correlated sub queries it is not a sub query it is correlated sub query okay so using the correlated sub query we have a standard formula using that formula also we can identify the fourth lowest salary so for that simply we need to write the correlated sub query so let me write the correlated sub query and i can explain you and I can explain you how it is going to execute. Okay, select star from dbo.employees. The same table I can consider it as an employees. Okay, so employees even where 
I need fourth lowest, right? So four minus one. This is the standard formula that you can give. Okay, four minus one equal to next you need to write select a count of distinct salary means the unique salary from the same table where u2 dot salary less than e1 dot salary okay e2 dot salary less than e2 dot salary so how this is going to work is correlate how this is going to work is so when it is processing the first record okay so that means whenever it processes the first record okay so yeah when, whenever it processes the first record so there are no previous records are available for this right so that's the reason it will give you the zero records means when when this condition e2 dot salary less than e1 dot salary so we'll get the zero records so in the count of distinct salary we'll get the null value so 4 minus 1 that is 3 equal to null is it a true it's no it's a false right so that's why it do not give anything then it it can come for the second second record that is nothing but 2600 it will check again so how many records are there uh, with the less than 2600 only one record okay so count of distinct salary is nothing but only one record okay so it will give the inner query where it can give only one result right so where the condition is right so where three equal to one it's a false again that's why it will move to other record when it is processing 2700 it will consider only two records because th these two are distinct salaries okay so that means three uh, three equal to two is it true no that's why it, it is not considered it did not give even this record when it, it is processing 2800 it will consider all these three records okay so when it is considered all these records what is the count of distinct salary that is three records okay so where four minus one it's nothing but three three equal to three so we'll get the match here that's the reason it is going to give that record for you okay so th this is how the correlated subquery can work so correlated subquery for every uh, for every outer query inner query has to execute okay so this is the correlated subquery can works that's why it is a bit uh, less efficient when it compared to the subqueries and any other queries okay so this is the okay so this is the same query that i have written select a star from employees even where 4 minus 1 equal to select count of distance salary from employee c2 where e2 dot salary less than e1 dot salary let me select this and run it you see the same 2800 is the salary that is fourth lowest salary that we can get it so if you wanted to get the fourth highest salary right so in that case you can specify n minus 1 is 4 minus 1 and you can specify the greater than symbol so that it can give you the top fourth salary okay that is a simple trick the next that is nothing but using ranking methods using ranking functions so we have a ranking functions like row number rank and the dense rank like usually we can take the either row number or a dense rank depends on the data set row number or dense rank so what this will do this will assign a ranks to your data right so you need to define the order so within the order it will specify the ranks so in case of the dense rank i can specify the order by salary so that order by salary it can give you the rank something like one this is for one this is for two this is for three okay like how it will give one two three four from the outer query you can simply select the whichever the record that you wanted okay so let me show the query for you so this is the query okay so this is the query so where first you can run this sub query okay select a star from this is the inner query okay this is the inner query where i am writing the dense rank order by salary ascending order okay so first it will arrange the data order by salary in ascending order then it will arrange the ranks okay so i can keep this query inside the uh, query and i'm writing on top of this another query where i can select only the rank so let me execute the inner query first so you see at last salary was arranged in ascending order and you can see the rankings 1 2 3 4 5 6 like how the ranking has arranged okay so since this ranking column is also there on the outer query using this rank column i am simply getting the record whichever you want so this is the most efficient way to get the required record based on either ascending order or in descending order okay so when it comes to the three methods right so first one is correlated uh, correlated subquery ranking function and using the limit and offset the worst performance 
that we can give is correlated subquery so this is the uh, less efficient okay when it compared to very less efficient this is very less efficient and this is most optimal way to get it optimal way this is the most optimal way and this is kind of a mid okay so these are the three different ways that you can answer guys okay that's all for this video if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section thank you